Professor Fitian Abera, an award of fellow and the deputy vice chancellor of Mekele University, is the first woman to occupy this position at the 25-year-old institution. A plant breeder focusing on barley and wheat crops, Professor Abera was the first female lecturer to be employed at Mekele University 24 years ago. There is global agreement on the need for transformational solutions towards developing sustainable food systems, with agricultural-driven development highlighted as a key driver. Fetian and her breeding work is revolutionizing the food system in Ethiopia. Barley is a major crop across the highlands of Ethiopia, where it is grown by approximately 4.1 million smallholders on close to 1 million hectares. I started breeding for barley. Barley is not easy. It's very, very sensitive for climate change and very difficult to breed comparing to other cereal crops. And I had a problem to succeed. Then this, this is the moment I start to involve farmers in making decisions and respecting their preference. And I'm oriented towards farmers' interest. Uh, uh, I have released fa five food barley varieties and one malt barley variety and one variety uh, released for the first time in, in this region. It's called Falamit, which means the first technology for this area. The third one is Fatina. Fatina came after my name, and it's the most preferred variety in uh, the drought-prone areas and partly here. And the third one is Adena, it means my mother, because it's six row and extra early. And the fifth one is, we call it Walela. It means really for extra drought areas in the eastern part of Tigray. The Fatina variety is very, very preferred by women. Her participatory approach toward plant breeding has indeed transformed agricultural production in Ethiopia. The Tigray Highlands are covered with acres of barley, almost all of which are among the varieties developed by Fetian. A professor of plant breeding and seed at Mekele University, Fetian is also supporting young professionals to establish careers in plant breeding. We had also a PhD program uh, supporting our young users and also we established two uh, laboratories, a laboratory for uh, molecular breeding and laboratory for uh, nutrition. Supporting outstanding agricultural women scientists to be effective leaders and drivers of agricultural research agendas is critical for inclusive transformation of the agricultural sector in Africa. Award fellows go through intensive customized learning experiences to build their leadership skills. In the process of making my research, I was only focused and specific towards the farmer's interest and breeding schemes. And I never been involved in leadership and uh, also gender issue. The moment uh, training is announced by the university, there was a demand also I can take over some leadership and uh, I didn't accept that one because I really consider them as, as un unprofessional. So there was a call from our for a fellowship and uh, I succeeded in 2010 and um, I have to fulfill the leadership and the gender training and uh, planning yourself, having a roadmap for the next five, ten years. And because of that, I started to have assertiveness, I started to have self-awareness practice to know myself and I started to align my activities with experts and I raised my interest also to work on the issue of gender, to be a multitasker. And uh, 
I accepted the, the invitation by the leaders at Makala University to establish the Institute of Gender and Environment at Makala University. So I was engaged as a director of Institute of Gender and Environmental Sciences from, uh, from 2011. After I get the training in 2010, immediately it was part of my, uh, my leadership scale. And then I said I need to be a professor in short period. That's why I become the first and right now the only Ethiopian female plant breeder in Ethiopia. And then after I said, why not to be is the deputy vice chancellor in Makala University. So it's two years since I became a deputy vice chancellor.